Reporting in progress. Right, we are beginning our discussion focusing on how to solve for X. Okay, this is quite um, a big deal in the grade 11 syllabus, and I want us to give it our all our strength, right, and all our effort. We need to solve for X by using the method of completing the square. The first question is twice X plus um, X plus 5 over X equals 11. The restriction, the restriction, the condition is that X must not be equal to zero. And we look at the solution to this. Number one, look at the solution to this. Right, so looking at the solution, there are a couple of things obviously that we need to consider. Right, what did the examiner actually give to us? So they gave us twice X plus five over X and the result is 11 with the condition on the side that x is not zero. What do we do? We consider what is at the bottom and that is x and that constitutes something we call the lowest common denominator. And it is x, meaning we shall take two x and we multiply it by x plus five over x. We multiply it by x, cos 11 multiplied by x. So 2x by x, we get 2x squared plus the x cancels, giving a 5, and this is 11x. So which is 2x squared. Okay, this gives us exactly 2x squared. I'm going to engage you uh, here so that you learn. The 11x is transposed and makes it minus 11x plus 5 equals 0. Okay, so we have twice x squared minus 11x plus 5, this equals 0, okay? Now, with these, what is the next thing if we need to complete the square? What should we do now, um, um, uh, Pekhalelo? What should we do? Should we take the 5 to the other side? That's a good point. Should we take the 5 to the other side? Completing the square requires that this must be in standard form. And the standard form is the form ax squared plus bx plus c, and this is already. Oh, wait, wait. You, uh -huh. divide, you divide by 2. Well, then we divide by 2 because ax squared plus bx plus c is called the standard form, and it's, it's already in the standard form. So mm -hmm. since it is already in the standard form, we maintain and we keep it in that, in that way. But we just need to remove these two. That's all. Right, so we have therefore 2x squared out of 2 minus 11x out of 2, 5 out of 2, 0 out of 2. So it divides through by 2. Right, 2 cancels and you have x squared minus 11 of, out of 2x plus 5 out of 2 equals 0. You get the point. So yes. this is what we get. Then what do we do next? Um... So because if we complete the square, we must make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1, and it was 2 before, and we divide to make sure it is 1. What do we do next? We complete the square. How do we complete the square? We consider the coefficient of x, which is minus 11 over 2, and we multiply it by 1 half of minus 11 over 2. You square it minus one half into minus 11 over two plus five over two is this, which is exactly x squared minus 11 over two x plus, what is two times two in the denominator? It's four. It's four. There's also another two times two here. Four which gives us a four plus five out of two equals zero. Okay, so we have got this, and it is exactly x squared minus 11 out of two x, right? And then we got minus 11 out of four squared minus the same thing. Right, minus the same thing, plus 5 out of 2 equals 0. 
So the next thing now is we have a common vector. Yeah, so we deal with that, and this is called a trinomial. Trinomial means it is a three term expression, and this trinomial is then factorized. How do we, we complete the square here? Once we get to this point, we take one x because it's x squared, we bring down x. And so here we have minus 11 out of 4, we bring down minus 11 out of 4. We put the square like this. And then now we have minus. What is minus squared? If square negative, you get a plus. You square 11 is 1, 2, 1. You square 4, you get what? Plus, plus 5 out of 2, and the result is what? Is 0. Okay, this is what we get. X minus 11 out of 4. So 11 out of 4. Right, and then you bring the other side. 1 to 1 divided by 16 plus 5 out of 2. So which is X minus 11 out of 4. Squared, which is 1 to 1, 16 plus 5 out of 2. Isn't the 5? Yeah, it's minus. Minus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well done. Minus. The 5 out of 2 is negative. Okay, because just positive before is negative. You, you, you're right. You're happy now, right? So um, yeah. it is minus here, right? Okay, good. Right, what do we do next, Pejalero? So we still have x minus 11 out of 4 squared. Here you take 16 as the lowest common denominator. 16 divided by 16 is what? Is 1 times 121, which is 121 minus. You bring down the minus. 16 divided by 2 is what? Is 8. 8. What is 8 times 5? 40. 40. Right, so that we have x minus 11 out of 4 square, and we have 121 minus 40. What is the result? What is 121 minus 40? 81. Well then, that's brilliant stuff. 81 out of 16. So what we have in here is that we have x minus 11 out of 4. You square these and it is 81 out of 16 and we take the square root now on the left. And then we have plus or minus the square root of this. So which means that we have x minus 11 out of four Okay, so uh, the square root removes the square. In which case, you can just uh, leave out the parentheses. Right, just leave out the parentheses here. And this is plus, what is the square root? So here you write the square root of 81 divided by the square root of 16. So this is exactly x minus 11 out of 4, which is plus or minus the square root of 81 divided by the square root of 16. What is the square root of 81? Hello. It is exactly nine. Square root of 16? Four. Four, which means therefore the answer is 11 out of four. Right, you move across 11 out of four plus or minus nine out of four. And then uh, this is, uh, you can write this as. Um, it's four here, then you have 11 plus or minus nine, meaning X is the same as 11 plus nine out of four, or X equals 11 minus nine out of four. So if, if this is the case that X is 11 plus nine out of four, what is 11 plus nine? Um, is it 19? 20. 20. Well done. It's 20. 20 divided by 4 is what? 5. Mm -hmm. Right. And then now you have 11 minus 9. What is 11 minus 9? 
It's two. Two goes how many times into four? So you divide. You say here, um, you divide two by two, you get a one. You divide four by two, you get a two. So these are sort of the solutions to this. How do you know if these answers are correct? How do you know? So you can do you a check. Them. Substitute them into the original equation, right? Yes. So good, let's do a check. Um, right, so if you do a check, Okay, so the original equation is this. So we can use 2x plus 5 out of x equals 11. Yes, it gave me 11 when I substituted 5. Or is it? Okay, yes. plus 5 out of x, it must be equal to 11. So if you check the left hand side now and you check it for x equals 5, um, the left is you put a 5 in the place of x here, plus 5 out of 5 equals yeah, and correct. 1, and then it's 10 plus 1 is what? It's 11, which is the right hand side, correct? Yes. Okay, what about two, if you put 1 half here, what do you get? It's also 11. Also 11. Mm -hmm. Excellent stuff. It is also 11 because um, if you have 2x plus... 5 out of x, it must be 11. And uh, obviously, you take x equals 1 half, and you consider the left-hand side, which is 2 into 1 half plus 5. OK, in the place of x, you put 1 half. So which means uh, the left-hand side is you divide here, which is 1 plus. OK, here, if you have 5, you're dividing this 5 by 1 half um it is the same as multiplying this by two out of one and therefore the left hand side is 10 plus one is 11 which is the right hand side okay yes. next thing um next point here that we're raising um my computer might switch off in four minutes it might switch off in four minutes eh Yes. Okay, I must apologize then. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to give you this as homework because you're just by yourself. So I'm going to give you two and three as homework. Okay. In my next appearance, we're going to discuss these, okay? Okay. Try right, number two and number three. In my next appearance, we're going to look at the corrections to number two and three, but yeah, your computer should not just switch off like that. So um i'm giving you time to relax it's a good sunday i'm gonna let you know of the next time we're gonna have our next discussion but normally communicate the day before so that you can prepare yourself okay okay sir right but every saturday 4 p.m every saturday 4 p.m we have our discussion normally so we are please try two and three in the same way Right, I'm going to send a video recording on WhatsApp in the next couple of minutes, but yeah, but thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's not supposed to be a very long discussion, but goodbye to you, uh, Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye.